हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द यूरनरी ब्लैडर दिस इज द स्पेसिमेन ऑफ अ ह्यूमन यूरनरी ब्लैडर एंड एज यू कैन सी द यूरनरी ब्लैडर इज टेट्रा हेड्रल इन शेप वेन इट इज एम टी इट इज टेट्रा हेड्रल इन शेप एंड वेन इट इज फिल्ड इट इज ओवल इन शेप द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द ब्लैडर इज द एनाटमिकल कैपेसिटी ऑफ द ब्लैडर इज अप टू वन थाउजेंड एम एल बट विफ वी स्टडी अबाउट द फिजोलॉजिकल कैपेसिटी देन अप देन वेन द ब्लैडर इज फिल्ड अप टू वन फिफ्टी एम एल देन वी गेट द सेंसेशन दैट द ब्लैडर इज फिलिंग एंड वेन द यूनरी ब्लैडर इज फिल्ड अप टू टू फिफ्टी एम एल और थ्री फिफ्टी एम एल देन वी गेट द सेंसेशन टू पास द यूरिन और द मिक्चुरेशन एंड वेन द यूनरी ब्लैडर इज फिल्ड अप टू फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल देन we get the sensation of pain the location of the bladder in children in children the uh, the urinary bladder is a pelvic organ when it is filled and when it is empty but in adults the urinary bladder is an abdominal organ when it is filled but a pelvic organ when it is empty so this now the surfaces of the bladder this is the superior surface of the bladder these are the two lateral surfaces two lateral surfaces and this is the posterior surface of the bladder or the base of the bladder superior surface two lateral surfaces and the base of the bladder the borders two lateral borders posterior border and the anterior border the anterior border it divides the two lateral surfaces the two lateral borders they divides or they separate the superior surface from the two lateral surfaces and this is the posterior border this border it divides or it separates the superior surface from the base of the bladder as we can see that this is a male bladder because in this bladder we can see the vas deferens and the two seminal vesicle and if we look at the female urinary bladder then this this is the specimen of a female urinary bladder and in this bladder we can see this is the uterus and this is the urinary bladder so these two are the ureters of the bladder and this is the neck of the bladder in males we can see the prostrate gland on the two sides of the neck the ureter ureters enters the urinary bladder on the superior surface posterior part of the superior surface the ureter enters the bladder now we will study about the ligaments of the bladder the urinary bladder have nine true ligaments and seven false ligament from the nine true ligaments one ligament is unpaired and other four ligaments are paired so this is an unpaired true ligament this ligament is known as the medial umbilical ligament median umbilical ligament and this ligament attach the urinary bladder to the umbilicus from the lateral borders two ligaments form two true lateral ligaments and the true lateral ligament they attach the uh, they attach the urinary bladder to the tendinous arc of the pelvic fascia and this is the posterior border from the two sides of the posterior border posterior true ligament forms 
and this posterior true ligaments they attach the urinary bladder to the base to the lateral pelvic wall they form from the base of the urinary bladder the superior part of the base of the urinary bladder and they attach the bladder to the lateral pelvic wall and two more ligaments in males in males we can see the pubo prostatic ligament two pubo prostatic ligament and in females we have the pubo vesical ligaments now we will study about the false ligaments there are seven false ligaments one of them is unpaired and other three are paired so unpaired false ligament it forms a rounded structure around the true unpaired ligament of the urinary bladder and the next two ligaments are so the the next false ligaments are fold of peritoneum around the obliterated umbilical artery around the obliterated umbilical artery we can see two pairs of the false ligaments the next false ligament is lateral false ligament from side of the bladder lateral false ligament the origin from the sides of the bladder to the lateral pelvic wall and they form the para vesical fossa and the next false ligament is posterior false ligament from the base of the bladder to the third sacral vertebra from the base of the bladder to the third sacral to the third sacral vertebra and they form the sacro genital fold now we will study about the bladder bed the first structure which comes on the anterior surface on the anterior part of the bladder it forms the pubic symphysis and the pubic bone on the posterior part we can see the rectum and the anal canal on the two lateral side we can see the levator ani and the obturator muscle so these are the structures that forms the bladder bed and on the inferior side uh, the base of the prostrate gland and the superior surface of the urogenital diaphragm in females so these are the structures that forms the uh, forms the bladder bed now we will study about the internal structures of the bladder so you can see that this is a female bladder this is the uterus and this is the urinary bladder the uterus always forms the posterior relation of the urinary bladder so this is the internal structures of the bladder we have cut the bladder from its lateral borders and if we see on the superior part of the bladder then we can see some irregular folds and these irregular folds are known as rugae and these rugaes are formed because the muscle uh, the muscular layer of the bladder is not properly intact with the mucosal layer and but but we can uh, but we will not see these rugaes on on this part of the bladder and this part of the bladder is known as the trigone or the internal trigone of the bladder and this is the urethra the opening of the urethra this is known as the opening of the urethra and this is the internal trigone of the bladder this internal trigone of the bladder is formed by the base of the internal trigone of the bladder is formed by the ridge this ridge and this ridge is formed by the ureters and on the base of this trigon we can see on the sides of the base of this trigon we can see two openings and these two openings are the ureteral openings the openings of the ureter these are the two uh, two ureters and these two ureters are opening into the bladder and this so, so 
this ridge is formed this ridge is formed by the ureters and this is a triangular area so this so that is why it is known as a trigon the, uh, the internal trigon of the blad 